Good morning. I am Dr. Devika Gunshila, Director of Gunashila IVF Center, which is one of the oldest and the most prestigious centers in India. I have been specifically asked to talk about IVF and IVM and the differences between them. IVF is a technology which the patients opt for when all their treatments have failed to produce a baby for them. It consists of stimulating the patient's ovaries with gonadotrophic drugs and then at the right time retrieving these eggs or oocytes from the ovaries. We then hand it over to the lab where each oocyte is inseminated with or is injected with the husband's sperm which then has to fertilize the oocyte and we wait for an embryo to form. In the regular IVF procedure, we obtain mature oocytes from follicles which are 1.75 to 1.8 centimeters in diameter. IVM stands for in vitro maturation of immature oocytes wherein we retrieve immature eggs from the ovaries from follicles of the size of 1.0 to 1.2 centimeters. These are then artificially matured outside in the lab and are then injected with the husband's sperm uh, through a procedure called as intracytoplasmic sperm injection. We then wait for the oocytes to be fertilized and an embryo to form. There are many advantages to the technology of IBM. It is mainly used in patients who have polycystic ovaries wherein they tend to hyper-respond to the gonadotrophic drugs. It can be used in re poor responders where we do not find a sufficient response in spite of having given them their hormonal injections. It is being widely used in fertility preservation in cancer patients. I would like to show you a video of intracytoplasmic sperm injection as well as a video of uh, the oocyte maturing and releasing the polar body. This is the picture of a germinal vesicle. The next what you see is an immature oocyte as it is removed from the uh, uh, ovary. This is a cohort of uh, immature oocytes. And then we would look at uh, immature oocyte with the release of the polar body. This is an embryoscope picture of um, uh, a polar body being released and uh, you need to concentrate on the right hand top corner picture which where you will actually see the release of the polar body this is a picture of a um, completely mature oocyte with a sunburst appearance the next clip is one of intracytoplasmic sperm injection uh, you can actually see the sperm being immobilized with the tail slashing. It is then taken into the injection pipette and injected into the oocyte.